Hello guys, we will move to the second part. It's about how you distinguish between auditing and accounting. It's very different. Okay, let's see. So accounting, as your uh, definition, you already know that accounting is the record, classify and summarize. Okay, record, yeah, journal, make a journal, classify, yeah. This is journal uh, for the what account and summarize the event, yeah. Recording, classifying, summarizing of economic events, of economic events, all events that have economic value, you have to record, classify, summarize to, yeah, to provide financial information for decision making, yeah. So once again, accounting is the recording, classifying, summarizing of economic events to provide financial information, to provide financial information. Yeah, for decision making, of course, for the user, user who use the financial statement to make a decision making. Yes, that's accounting, recording, classifying, summarizing of economic events to provide financial information for decision making. Okay, and auditor, yeah, auditor itself focus on determine whether the recorded, the accountant recorded information properly reflect the economic events. So it will reflect, totally reflect, yeah, exactly reflect the economic events. The value, the economic value, it's reflex on that economic events that occur during the accounting period. Accounting period in Indonesia is one year, yeah, uh, from the 1 January until 31 December. So auditor job is focused on determining whether the recorded information, yeah, the job of the accountant, it's already properly reflect the economic events that occur during the accounting period. In addition, to understanding accounting, auditor must possess expertise. They have to be expert in accounting also. And, of course, auditor have to accumulate an interpretation of the audit evidence because, once again, to determine the information is already proper with the economic events, you need audit evidence. You need evidence. Yeah. Yes. So once again, in addition to understanding accounting, auditor must possess expertise in the accumulation and interpretation of audit evidence. Yes. This is for make sure your information is really properly reflect the economic events. So. In here, yeah, we have to uh, enhance the information power, yeah, because information is everything. And for the objective three, yeah, we have to explain the importance of auditing to reduce the information risk. So this is a shortly, yeah, economic demand for auditing, yeah, and information risk. Information risk reflect the possibility that the information, yeah. Upon which a business decision was made was inaccurate. Okay, so this is the keyword. Information risk is the risk for the information is inaccurate, not accurate, not the reflect the economic events. So that's why auditing of financial information reduce the information risk to the user of financial information. So once again. Financial information is used by the user and it will harm the user if there is many information risk. Yeah. So that's why the auditor, the job is to reduce the information risk by audit the financial statement. So the financial information in the financial statement is not, uh, yeah, not being modified. It's really properly reflect the economic events. Yeah, that's why we need audit. Yeah, to reduce the information. Risk. Yes, this is for the part two and part three. Yeah, once again, you have to know between, uh, the difference between auditing and accounting. Yeah, uh, for in, in short, yeah, the auditing is uh, the job for uh, yeah check whether the accountant is already do the proper job. Yeah, for the recording, classifying, and summarizing the financial information. Yes. So this is the part two and part three. Now, uh, for the next video, we will uh, discuss about the part four. Okay. See you.